There's only two proper ways to lace Air Force Ones in my opinion. You have the classic bunny knot which I have here, and then you have the loose lace method. In this quick and easy tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can do both so you can be as fresh as possible and also avoid the embarrassment of lacing your shoes like this. Oh my god, look at, look at the creasing on that. Also, please bear with me. I know I look like a naked mole rat, but uh, you'll be looking at my shoes and not my face. So now let's get to the tutorial. All right, so this is the classic lace. As you can see, it's just a normal bunny knot, but it's just done extra clean and I'll be showing you guys how, to, how you can do that. All right guys, so this first part, all the way up till, up till about here, is gonna be the same whether you're loose lacing or doing a classic lace. So just pay attention. So this is gonna be the first part, uh, no matter what you're doing. So you're gonna take your laces from both ends, as you can see, and you're gonna start from the outside. You're gonna start from the outside and put them in. Once you've got them through the holes, you're gonna pull through at the same time. One thing I forgot to mention is that Air Force is gonna, are gonna have this dubre. Just make sure that the dubre is in um, before you do this step. And then once you pull through, you're just going to make sure that both uh, you're going to just take out the twist by like pulling and adjusting it. And then at that point, you're going to take your laces and you're going to adjust them until the lengths are even. So uh, I'm pulling them all the way up. I'm pulling them all the way up and this side is longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the side that's longer. I'm going to pull from the outside and then take the side that's shorter and pull from the inside. What that does is it's going to equal out the length uh, of the lace of the laces. So now so now the lace tips are even. All right, so now what you're gonna do is I like to start from the inside and, and, and go to the outside. So I'm gonna take my first lace. I'm gonna put it in my hands like this, create kind of a little bit of a loop and keep it straight and flat. And then I'm gonna start from the inside and, and, and pull through from the outside. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other side now. So I'm gonna take the right side, go from the inside and pull through. And I like to run it through my fingertips, keeping the laces flat. Now the key with lacing your Air Forces is making making sure that they're not tight because when you choke them up, that's when the creasing happens. So I've, I've worn these shoes a ton. And as you can see, the creasing is not bad at all. Um, the creasing happens when you tighten up your shoes all the way and you make them you make them really hard to hard to breathe in. So just keep your laces, keep your laces kind of loose and, and flat. All right, so now that we've laced the first two holes, I'm gonna repeat the same process all the way up until I get to this hole right here, the second to last hole. And I'm also gonna I'm also gonna skip this little uh, loop. So the, the tongues have a of a loop that you're supposed to lace your uh, laces through. But I I don't like doing that. That's just me personally. So I'm gonna avoid this. So you do the same. I'm gonna fast forward this next part so it's faster. Just as a reminder, make sure that as you're lacing through, you remove any twists. So if if your shoelaces get a twist like this, what I like to do is I, I like to scoop it back a little bit and then run it through my finger so that it stays flat. And that way there's no uh, there's no twist in your laces. All right, so whether whether you're doing a loose lace or whether you're doing a classic lace, you you've, you're at this point now, and what I'm about to show you is what you do when you're doing a classic lace. So first, make sure your lace tips are equal, and then if if they are unequal, make sure you just unlace it all the way up to the point where one side is longer than the other, and just kind of even it out and go back. So, but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the left side as we were before, and we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing to the rest of the shoe, just on the last hole. And now you just basically tie a shoe just like you would with any other shoe. So you're just gonna do, you're gonna go through here. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that I like to make sure that the laces are flat and there's no twists as I as I do the loop. And then I pull through. I even out the little um, you know lace tips so that the loops are equal. And there you go. Now you got a neat little bow, and you got your classic lace. All right. So this is the loose lace method. I like to I like to usually do this with all of my shoes. And uh, this is more of a kind of a streetwear, kind of casual look. One thing to keep in mind is that if you are gonna if you are gonna do this lacing method, it is absolutely essential to go half a size down. Um, Air Forces in general fit half a size large, so you're gonna want to size down anyways. 
but especially if you're gonna be loose lacing compared to doing the normal uh, the normal bunny knot, loose lacing is absolutely essential that you go down half a size because then your heel comes out of the shoe as you walk and it's just uncomfortable. What you're gonna do is that you're gonna actually uh, you're gonna you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna take your laces and um, instead of pulling through all the way in the last hole, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through it and then you're gonna pull just a little bit. So you're gonna go all the way to the length that you that you want to leave sticking out. So that that much for me. You're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So now I have now I have these little uh, lace uh, loose lace tips on the end. And what I'm gonna now that I have all of this excess lace, I'm gonna distribute it throughout the rest of the shoe. So how you do that is you're gonna take your your index fingers and you're gonna take the the laces from the inside and pull outward. So you're gonna go in this direction. So you're gonna pull and you're gonna go down the shoe. So you're gonna do that to all the ones going down. And you want to try and keep them flat as possible. Make sure there's no twists. But you're gonna go through the shoe. And then when you get to the very end, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling inward, I'm pulling inward, and then I'm going to go to the one above it and pull out, uh, pull inward as well. So I'm pulling, I'm pulling this way. So I'm taking the, taking the, uh, the laces from the outside and pulling inward, pulling inward, pulling inward. And I'm also taking my thumb and I'm spreading it um, just to kind of distribute it a little bit, kind of, kind of space it out. And as you can see, this, this is kind of, this is kind of twisting up. So I'm just evening it out. I just adjusted the uh, the twist into my laces, and now I'm going to continue kind of pressing my pressing my fingers against the side, making making sure that it's all equal. And um, I see that this this loop here is a little bit too big, so I'm going to take the one above it and just kind of pull a little bit, pull a little bit, and I'm pulling inward right now. So as I'm going up, I'm pulling inward. And uh, yeah, there you go. Now you've loose laced your Air Forces. that's gonna wrap it up for today's tutorial if you enjoyed it please remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new I'm trying to get my channel to 5k subs by the end of the year and if you could help me get there I'd be really grateful and uh, yeah with all that being said remember to have a blessed day and stay clacking peace Perfect.